This glitch makes TNT go through walls. Hello there, Ray here. It all started when I was designing a new automatic tree farm that can do 13 trees and funguses in one redstone machine. But after testing the farm for hundreds of hours, I came back to it randomly being destroyed. So I ran the farm again for over a thousand hours, but it never blew up. Whatever caused it to blow up must be very rare. Now since the farm uses TNT dupers, which is a TNT that is powered by redstone that doesn't know it's being powered yet, and only when it moves does it realize it's being powered, so it then makes a TNT entity, but by that time the TNT block has already moved into its new location. So you end up with a duped TNT entity while not using up the original TNT block. Now since these things are finicky by nature, I thought maybe they got updated at the wrong time causing them to blow up the top of the machine. Now this could happen during snow weather with the snow layers being placed on it. This would cause the TNT to realize that it's being powered and then convert the TNT block into an entity which then could fall onto this ledge and explode breaking all the redstone here. But snow layers only happen in some biomes and by placing some higher blocks this makes it so that the layers will never form up on the TNT. So after fixing this and testing the farm again, it would still rarely blow up for seemingly no reason. So I tried to think of everything else that would cause rare random updates. And if you've seen my lightning skeleton horse farm, you'll know that lightning is super rare. But we can stop these lightning updates by placing in blocks above or just by having a lightning rod nearby. But despite doing all of this, the TNT would still rarely explode. This meant that the problem has to do with the TNT itself. Now there is a few things that are random when it comes to Minecraft's TNT entity. For one, the amount of block damage they do is random, so a TNT that blows up in the same spot won't always break the same far out blocks. Another thing is the random direction they bounce when they are lit. It will randomly choose any of the 360 degrees to move towards with a velocity of 0.2 meters per tick. This made me think that the dupe TNT was bouncing onto this ledge preventing it from falling. But when it spawns the TNT entity, it always has a consistent upward velocity too. And this TNT duper design takes advantage of this by having it clip into the slime above it so that while it is moving it is also pushing the TNT entity up against this stone block. This means that even if the TNT was originally trying to go the opposite direction, it would always be aligned so that when the duper moves forward again, the entity will fall down this hole. So after all of this testing, we still have not figured out the beginning problem of the TNT blowing up. Which means you should leave a like on the video for this crazy dedication. Now if we want to figure out what is actually happening, we have to see it happen in real time. But that's a problem since it would only break very rarely over hundreds of hours. Now I could record my Minecraft screen looking at the TNT dupers in hopes to catch it breaking, but even catching it live it's hard to tell exactly what's going on. Now luckily there is a Minecraft mod that lets you record every block and entity change in the world and then re-watch what just happened from any location. So I tried using this to capture the problem in action. But since it happens so rarely, I sped up the game using the tick sprint command so that it runs 100 times faster than normal. Now we just have to wait until it breaks. And after about 300 hours I checked on it just to find it randomly broken. But now I ran into a new problem which is the replay mod struggles to load all the things that happened during those hundreds of hours. So after waiting a bunch for the footage to load and checking different areas, I eventually found the area where the top of the machine blew up. And watching it back in slow mode showed that the TNT entity somehow was sticking to the slime as the duper was resetting. But we already know that the TNT normally does not do this as it instead gets aligned and when the duper resets it just falls down through the open hole. This means that there is something different with this TNT than most other ones. So by using commands I can check the TNT's data including its location within the block. Normally the TNT entity will balance and align itself with one of the four sides which means its coordinates should always be inside this area. But when checking the problematic TNT I noticed that its coordinates were outside of this area. I had finally found the problem but I still did not know why the TNT was doing this. And finding why this happens was not going to be easy so make sure you guys are a subscriber of the channel. Now that we know that the TNT is somehow getting through solid blocks we need to find out how. Since the problem happens very rarely it has to be related to something that is random. 
and the only thing that is, is the direction the TNT bounces when ignited. So there must be a certain bouncing direction that lets the TNT go inside of the wall. But to test this idea, we need to have control over which angle it will bounce every single time. Now this can't easily be done using vanilla game, so Guitar made a mod where you can change this angle by holding different number of items in your player's hand. Using this, we can check all 360 degrees that the TNT can bounce towards. But since we already have an example of it breaking, we can use it to get the momentum of the X and Z direction and calculate which angle it's going towards. Guitar did this and it was 30 degrees. So by holding 5 items in the main hand and 27 items in the off hand, the Minecraft mod will make the TNT bounce 30 degrees every time. And running the TNT duper with this will make the TNT clip into the side of the walls 100% of the time, causing it to get stuck and blown up. But how rare is it for this to happen? Well, the mod lets us test 4100 unique angles, which is way more than the normal 360 degrees. So the angle where it clips is between 29.99995 and 30.0003, which is 3000 times smaller than a single degree, or equal to taking a circle, cutting it into 1 million slices, and then only a single slice is the one that lets it clip through the walls. Using this information, we searched for other potential problematic angles and found a corresponding one at 150 degrees. These two clipping angles occur on all four cardinal directions, but a TNT dupe like this only ever has one side that this can occur on, which means that there is a 0.0002% chance that this TNT duper will blow up on itself when activated, which is not a big enough chance to really worry about it for the automatic tree farm. But this still doesn't explain why the game is letting the TNT clip through blocks. For this, Guitar had to look into the Minecraft code and he was able to find the actual mistake. Normally when the game tries to push an entity through a block, it will correct this problem by moving the entity backwards until it barely touches the outside of the block. But with these special angles, the TNT entities will barely go inside of the block but not enough for the game to notice or try to push it backwards. This is usually not a problem as the entity will still not get stuck on the ledge of the block below. But it becomes a problem when the slime blocks start to move, they then check to see if there's any entities that are clipping into them so they can move them too. When they check the TNT entity, it converts the TNT's dimensions from a less precise number, the float, to a more precise number, the double. This now makes the TNT entity technically inside of the moving block so that the slime block moves the TNT entity along with it. And this is what causes the TNT to get pulled back into the duper and blow up the top of the tree farm. Because of how strange the TNT clipping works, it seems more annoying than something that could be useful. And on the Minecraft bug report website, there was no report on this problem, so I made one. So now that I understand the TNT problem, look forward to my tree farm that can do 13 different trees and funguses all in one. And thanks to all my supporters here on screen, and I will see all you guys next one. Bye bye!